yes, Minecraft, where you can mine and craft at your pleases. But Minecraft is a game that everyone is everyone considers to be very popular and it is so far one of the biggest indie games that has ever existed but we I'm sure every one of y'all has probably asked this question either once in your life and that question is what was the very first version of Minecraft now that question the answer to that is actually debatable. Some say it is the very first version of Alpha. Some even say that that it that it was 1.1.0. I don't know why that would be, but okay. But if you if you are saying those things, then you would be complete you would be surprised cuz it cuz that would be completely wrong it actually goes back into a developmental stage called preclassic preclassic is the initial developing stage that got minecraft started the developing process and what and what the preclassic phase unfolds Relies the secrets of where Minecraft originally came from. So, so the very first version of Minecraft that we all know is called Cave Game Technical Demo, also known as just simply Cave Game Tech Test. This version was never really re released to the public. And I was not, so I was not able to play this version. So I'm showing you a ver I'm showing you a video that is posted by the original creator of the video. I'll link in the description to the original video of this of of this uh, video that basically Notch is showcasing. His very first, his very creation that he calls simply known as Cave Game. And that was the very first title of the game. The general features of this version, he added some basic physics, some basic lighting, and also added chunks to load in. And the world generation at the time was a 256 by 256 by 64 tile map. Which was the world generation, a lot of the blocks would be completely random. It's actually not completely random actually. Because there are regions as to where... Where there's supposed to be blocks, like for example, the grass blocks are at the top, and and the cobblestone is at the bottom. But the game also has some basic fog, and in general, it is basically creative mode. Now the entities that are in this game so far is the player, which currently has no visible model as of yet. And is also 1.7 meters, also known as 5 feet and 7 inches tall. The blocks that are that are added in, in this version, the blocks that are that are in this version so far, are, is is air, cobblestone, and grass block. Which the cobblestone and grass block was actually the 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 textures of it actually came from the game called Ruby Dung, which is what Notch also created and took the textures from there. So the very first playable version of Minecraft, also known as Cave Game back in their time, is called 
Pre-classic RD132211. Basically, this version adds in placing and destroying blocks, and and the block placement is a bit finicky because the block types are handled depending upon where they are located within the world, as opposed to later versions where any block can be placed anywhere. The world generation is that the level generation was improved to, to be completely flat instead of random like like the last version. And this is the oldest version of Minecraft that can be played in the Minecraft launcher. The next version is called Pre-Classic RD132328, which adds a brand new mob. In fact, the very first mob, called a human, which run around the map with no proper AI or movement animation. The only real difference in textures and, and blocks is that the grass block texture is slightly brighter. The next version is RD 20090515. This is the only version of Pre-Classic that this is one of the only versions of Pre-Classic that cannot be played in the launcher. Attempting to play it downloads RD161348 instead. We don't really know anything about this version except for the fact that it renamed Cave Game to Minecraft Order of the Stone. The next version is Pre-Classic RD160052. Now this is a version that added a lot of stuff. Um, it added new blocks which are dirt, stone, and wooden planks. And it adds a feature, it adds two features where you can, one, spawn human mobs by pressing G, and and you can and you can pick your block using the number keys 1 to 6. It also adds block particles, like for example if you break a block, it has particles. It also has support for different block types and dynamic blocks. And this is actually the first version that is in full screen mode. Now, now the changes in physics are that grass, grass exists on dirt while under light. However, gra gla grass blocks revert to dirt when they are no longer under light. This is the version where Minecraft Order, Order of the Stone was simply renamed to just Minecraft, which is still the official name to this very day. Now the final version is called Pre-Classic RD161348. This is the version that adds in a few new things, like for example a new block known as a sapling. And the changes in textures is that it changed the, the, the wood plank to make it a bit darker texture. And it actually fixed the, a rendering glitch where the world would become invisible at cer certain angles. So those were all the versions of Pre-Classic Era. And basically this was the basic form of Minecraft that originally started the developing process and, and making it viral. That being said, not, not only do, do we know about the very first version of Minecraft, but we also know about all the versions of the pre-classic mode. Uh, era, I mean. But anyway, so that'll be it for this video. If you have, if you have a rating, it'd be much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing videos uh, pretty often, but not too often, because high school and stuff. And 
If you like this video, then check out my other videos. They're also pretty awesome. So, thanks for much appreciate. Subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.